I voted today because I think that I have the power to make change in our community and the country. In general, I'd like to see the country move a bit towards uh, kindness and empathy. I'm a teacher here with my students today and I'm always thinking about them and our future as a country. It's one of the only forms of uh, direct democracy we have, getting out and voting for the people. This is your first time voting. How does it feel to finally get out here and vote? I'm very happy uh, about uh, Ina voting. This is my first time and uh, he's here to help me. So I'm very excited to go out and vote today. It's a big it's a big election nationally, of course, and uh, we have a lot facing the city. We have a couple ballot questions on this ballot, too, for Burlington Matters. And, of course, we have some big state questions as well. And moved on to the Burlington Electric Department, uh, which is interesting because on the ballot this year is a question on an, a bond for electrics in Burlington. I voted for David Zuckerman. Lieutenant Governor. For um, Misa Loisi, she's a local, like in my neighborhood, representative, so. Well, my, my race. <laughs> uh, representative Mary Catherine Stone for our Burlington district. You know, housing is really, really important. We're already seeing the effects of climate change um, on the state level uh, across communities all over Vermont. And so I'm hoping our state leaders will continue to push for affordable housing and uh, addressing the uh, mitigating and, and addressing the impacts of climate change. Everybody should vote if they complaining about how government is and they never voted. They have no right to complain, in my opinion, if they could vote. I came out here to vote because, like, you know, it's a part of our country and everything like that. So, First of all, it's uh, the women's rights for me and uh, education. What encouraged me on um, the um, losing of the women's rights, stuff on um, abortion, um, the, uh, um, the economy, I think, which is doing good, and uh, make sure that we um, have some responsible people in our state house. I think they have to have compassion, too. They really got to care about people, you know? And there were, I think they must have been 18-year-olds standing in line waiting to vote for the first time. It just thrilled me. It really did. Dad's World War II Eisenhower jacket, and uh, he, fought in the, he fought with the 9th Army Air Force. And whenever I vote, I wear it in honor of all veterans and current soldiers and in honor of those who passed on uh, because of them. Uh, we get to live in a democracy or democratic republic, and I don't take that for granted. Oh, it feels really important today. I know a lot of people will say, like, it's Vermont, it, like, you know, we go one way or the other, but I still think it's so important to vote in your local elections, but also to make my voice be part of the bigger number nationally as well. So I think it's important to um, make sure we voice our opinions about either candidates that we feel strongly about or about certain items on the ballot and making sure that our community stays a safe um, and sort of vibrant city that we know it is and can be again. We've been seeing songs to help people vote because a lot of Americans who come to this place don't really actually vote. Yeah, we were seeing songs because there's like a lot of stress around the voting, so we're making people feel more relaxed and have a good time.